So it's been a very crazy week. If you've been following the rumors, you would know that Xbox Game Pass has been rumored for the Nintendo Switch. And funny enough, this was leaked back in 2019 of February, which was actually said, it, the whole rumor started with Ori and the Blind Forest coming to the Nintendo Switch with possibly more Xbox first party titles heading to the Nintendo Switch. We saw this rumor somewhat end up true, except that this wasn't the first game to come out of that. It was Cuphead, then it ended up being Hellblade, and then this did not get announced till months later after that whole rumor slash leak. But along with that rumor slash leak, it was talked about how Nintendo and Xbox were in negotiations to bring Xbox Game Pass into the Nintendo Switch, and if you don't know, it's more difficult to put more streaming services on platforms like this is actually one of the reasons why we don't see netflix all of those streaming services on the nintendo switch yet when you put platforms on the switch you have to work out some fee where actually nintendo gets a cut like all these consoles get a cut of all these streaming services it looks like that's why we haven't had netflix yet on the switch is because they never worked out a deal and it seems like that was what was happening with xbox game pass and Considering it took two years if it comes out this year according to the rumors out there right now This was a very long negotiation deal that has finally struck and I think that's very interesting It is very interesting if we got the Xbox Game Pass on the Switch It's not far-fetched to have Xbox Game Pass on other platforms as we've seen Xbox Game Pass go to PC and now early beta testing on phones with xCloud which is again impressive and on top of that, it's not unusual to see streaming games on the Nintendo Switch with games like Hitman 3 and Control, which maybe that was supposed to be a tease of what's coming, and that was Xbox Game Pass. But the point that I want to talk about, and I actually have some insider information to let you guys know towards the later end of the video, but I think what's so interesting about having Xbox Game Pass on Nintendo Switch compared to Xbox Series X, PC, all these platforms, Xbox Game Pass is going to be most beneficial on Nintendo Switch compared to the other consoles. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of these third party titles that are on the Xbox Game Pass have never hit a Nintendo platform. We've never seen ports of those on the Switch, and a lot of these games are games people have been requesting. Like I know Batman Arkham Knight is on the Xbox Game Pass. A lot of people have been asking for the at least the original two Batman Arkham games to come onto the Switch. With Xbox Game Pass, we are technically going to be getting that. Yes, it's going to be streaming, but I believe, I, I don't own Xbox Game Pass, but I know you can download games, I'm pretty sure. Maybe with some of these games that are not like really requiring a lot of, of the system's power, they can do a download where, like Xbox Game Pass, you can download the games to your Switch, which would be pretty impressive for those who don't have strong internet. One of the things that I'm excited about if this rumor ends up being true is the fact that we are going to have so many first party X, I mean, actually, theoretically, we would be getting all of the Xbox Series X titles onto the Nintendo Switch via the cloud, of course, but it's xCloud and, I mean, I haven't used it, but the reviews from xCloud have been very, very positive. And I think the streaming service would be huge for the Nintendo Switch, considering we're having so many third-party games struggle to put their games on the platform that can put it on the Xbox Game Pass, and it's also very affordable for people. So I know a lot of people might be talking about Phil Spencer, how he said the whole Nintendo and Xbox relationship is, I don't know his whole quote of what he said, but I know he was saying they were pretty much done with working stuff on the Nintendo Switch. He said that back in 2019, I believe, and a year later, we got the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest on the Nintendo Switch. So clearly that isn't true, because they're clearly putting more Xbox games on Nintendo Switch. And I'm not going to be surprised if we continue, continue to see this with maybe games like Halo the Master Chief Collection. Don't be surprised if that ends up coming to the Switch anytime soon. Now, I, I believe with Xbox Game Pass, this will actually be a huge deal for the Nintendo Switch. This will pretty much be one of the greatest systems of all time if they got Xbox Game Pass on the Switch. And I say that for like current next gen games systems that we have. 
with Nintendo Switch, you could get the Nintendo first party lineup, and you could get Xbox Game Pass, which Xbox is paying so much money to get games on the Xbox Game Pass. We could be seeing a really good game library with the combination of Nintendo's library plus Xbox Game Pass lineup plus Xbox first party lineup, which is going to be a part of Xbox Game Pass. You're going to be able to run Halo Infinite most likely on the Nintendo Switch if this whole Xbox Game Pass thing is true. Now I want to talk more about the rumor of the Xbox Game Pass and who it is coming from. Nate the Hate has been talking about it for the last two years and then there's this other Xbox Game Insider that's been talking about it since about for about three days he has been talking about Xbox Game Pass coming to the Nintendo Switch and he is an inside Xbox guy who covers Xbox news. I don't know how credible this guy is, but considering he is running a article that pretty much covers all Xbox news, I think that's actually called Inside Xbox, I would think they would know what they're talking about, but of course we need to take all of this with a grain of salt. So what I know about Xbox Game Pass coming to the Nintendo Switch, I will tell you everything I know. First off, I want to say I was told about Xbox Game Pass being in the works and somewhat might already be confirmed for the Switch in terms of the deals and everything back when I was talking about the Game Awards. My leaker that told me a lot that was happening with the Game Awards told me a Conquer game was in development and that Rare was outsourcing their IPs to other developers. He told me a lot of things that ended up being true that night on the Game Awards. One of the things he did say, though, that never got confirmed was the fact that he was hearing rumblings that we might actually see Xbox's Game Pass being officially announced during the Game Awards. That never happened. So the reason why I'm like iffy on these Xbox Game Pass rumors, I have a hard time believing a lot of these people saying that it's coming to the Switch only because this guy said it and it didn't really end up happening and he my leaker still doesn't know what ended up happening that night and why there was no xbox game pass granted you can always take it from a grain of salt you can take what i say a grain of salt but this guy got so much right that night and he had told me other stuff that's happened this year that has ended up being true so i'm wondering is this deal confirmed? Are Nintendo and Xbox still negotiating this? And that's why we have not seen it announced yet. Is there some behind the scenes drama happening between Nintendo and Xbox trying to get the platform on the Nintendo Switch? If you would think about it from Nintendo's side, they might not want Xbox Game Pass on the Switch. The reason why I say that is because the their first party lineup very expensive. They're $60 games. They barely go on sale. And if they do go on sale, it's select games that they put on sale. It's not all their games that go on sale. With having a Game Pass on the Switch, Xbox Game Pass being on the Switch, that is going to ruin some of Nintendo sales, potentially. I'm not 100% sure, but we might see people be like, oh, so... What that what's coming up soon? Uh, Metopia. <laughs> well, no one's probably gonna buy Metopia. Mario Golf. Mario Golf's gonna be a $60 game. Let's just say Xbox Game Pass is already out for the Switch. Then they'll be like, you know what? I can pay $15 a month to get Xbox Game Pass on my Switch and play all these games that Xbox is offering and to continue adding regularly to the platform. Or I can pay $60 for a Mario Golf game. That's how I can see people looking at Xbox Game Pass on Switch, potentially. I don't know. It's going to be interesting if Nintendo allows it, because I feel like Nintendo would be nervous that their sales are going to go down. So I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I, I know for sure that there is negotiations happening with this. Is it going to end up happening? I, I really don't know. I'm just telling you what I know from the leaker and what I was told that it was going to be announced at the Game Awards last year. We never got that. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens from here. Are we going to hear about it this year? Is it coming out this year? I don't know. All these leakers seem to be indicating that. I'm just telling you what my leaker told me last year. That's all that I know. 
I want to know all your guys' opinions of the Xbox Game Pass coming to the Nintendo Switch. Does that excite you? Are you excited to having to most likely stream most of those games? Because I, I guarantee you with games like Halo Infinite, you're not going to be able to download that bad boy on the Switch because it's just going to look awful. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. I want to know everyone's opinion. Are you excited for this? Do you dislike this? Do you dislike that you're going to have to probably stream a lot more games frequently? If you get the Xbox Game Pass, I want to know everything you guys are thinking on the topic. All right, I've been talking for way too much. I'm going to end off this video before more news comes out about the Xbox Game Pass and I have to refilm this whole video. I've stayed silent on this because the story continues developing for the last three days. It's continued to develop for the last three days and it's been pretty impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed with what's happening over there. All right, make sure to backslash that subscribe button, like the video, check out my channel, and check out my Discord server. I just messed up my intro, my outro. <laughs> it's okay though, it doesn't matter. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.